do my best. Um, it was beautiful. Um, I, uh, I've always thought I could deal weed. I've always... <laughs> It's not a high bar, I feel like, to set for myself. Um, you know, I don't know if anyone does. That's up to you. Keep it, that's all good. But, um, but I, thought, I thought it could do it. But the thing that always stopped me from doing it was, um, I think, the, uh, I didn't think it would be worth the paranoia that would come with it, um, which is why I stopped smoking weed. I didn't, it was my um, drug of choice uh, for a long time. I was sober for eight years off everything, um, which was really, really brutal. And then um, last year uh, <laughs> happened. Um, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I was over east, uh, my girlfriend and I were in Sydney and it was March and it all fucking happened and all the work went and everything went and it was like, you got to stay inside and I was like, I'm fucking getting blazed, that's what I'm doing. Um, but... <laughs> but I had to start from scratch because I had burnt all my contacts. Um, uh, <laughs> I'd cut ties, right, and I had to re-establish all the connections and stuff, and so um, I, I asked around and I got a contact, and it's really different these days. I don't know if you guys know, and again, that's up to you. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's different. There's, like, encoded apps now. It's, like, real fucking, like, you know, spy stuff. And um, so I went in this app and I got, like, sent a menu. Uh, crazy, yeah, what? There's menus. Um, it's like all these levels of strange and stuff, and they deliver. Like, it's fucking great. Anyway, it was like Christmas. It was so exciting. Um, and so I hook it up. I send the amount I want. The address goes out, all that sort of stuff. And me and my girlfriend are really excited. And um, this black sedan rocks up uh, to the house. Um, and I go outside, and he sort of pops the window down. He's like, oh, you Luke? And I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he's like, hop in, which I didn't expect that bit. Um, I'm like, all right, OK. Um, but so I get in, uh, and then he just fangs it. Um, yeah, and I'm like, am I getting abducted? Is that what's happening? Like, is this... And my girlfriend's trying to ring me. She's freaking out. Um, uh, and I'm, try I'm trying to sort of act cool. <laughs> but, like, I'm fucking stressed, you know. Uh, and he, he reads it. He's a cool guy. He reads it. He's like, it's all right, man. We just got to do a lap of the block. And I was like, yeah, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I get it, yeah, my man, all right. Um, <laughs> so, so it's all good, I buy, I buy the weed, I hop out, I go back in. We have the best week, my God. Um, I don't know what you guys did during lockdown, but holy shit, uh, the best. Just watching movies, great. And, um, and then we run out, because we're having a great time, and so I have to get some more. Um, now, in this time, he's got more paranoid, right? Um, restrictions have got a bit more intense. Uh, so now the system is he's not doing deliveries, right? Uh, he tells me an address. It's not his house. It's near his house. It's a street corner. So I have to go to this street corner, right? So I go to this street corner at the time I'm supposed to go there, and I'm sort of trying to loiter around while act like I'm not dodgy. Um, and then uh, he, uh, he all, I've told him what I look like. I've said what I look like, but he hasn't said anything about what he looks like. So I'm trying to fucking look at people um, uh, Without looking for too long, right, you know, and uh, a, a woman with a little dog starts walking towards me, straight towards me, and I'm like, that's not the guy. Uh, <laughs> but then um, she goes, Luke, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, and she's like, let's walk, and I'm like, fuck it, I get it, yeah. <laughs> it's like the car, but without the car, you know what I mean? <laughs> you got to move, you got to be on the move, I get it, right? <laughs> so... Uh, we're walking with this dog and, um, and I'm trying to make chit-chat or whatever and then she stops for the dog like to do a, a, have a sniff at the pole or whatever and then she, she bends down with a plastic bag and picks up a shit, I presume, right? <laughs> but then she goes to hand it to me. <laughs> yeah, and my first instinct is like, no, thank you, I'm good, like, <laughs> I don't... I'm good, we've got a lot at home, I'm all, like, all covered for shit and then I'm like, oh, that's the weed, bang. But because I'm not good at this stuff, I say, oh, that's the weed. Um, and fucking... <laughs> that, it gets real tense then. Uh, and then, like, so she just wants the money, like, obviously. But I'm like, I don't know how to do this bit because now it just looks like I'm paying you $150 for a, a dog shit, you know what I mean? Which is also crazy. Like, I feel like that's worse than getting caught for drugs. Like, being the guy in a pandemic who was paying for... Dog shit. Um, so I'm like, should I have brought a dog as well? And then, 
Like I give you their shit and you give me that, I don't know. So I just fucking give her the money and I get the weed and I go home and we have another great week and we finish all the weed. Now this time before I can even contact the guy, um, I get a message in the app and he's saying, and he's like, it's getting too shady out there. There's a new system, okay? Now the new system is we're not even doing it in the app, we're going into Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and which, yeah, crazy, right? It's worse. Um, <laughs> And then he's like, um, but the system is now, you send me a picture of a vintage chair and the amount you want to sell it for, right? And then, then I'll say, great, I love it, I'll come around and check it out, and that's the exchange, right? So I'm like, whatever, I find the chair in our house that I think would work. Uh, I take a picture of the chair, I send a picture of the chair, um, and I'm waiting at the front for him to turn up in the black sedan, and a white van rocks up, and he gets out in high-vis, <laughs> holding a clipboard. <laughs> like, he's all in on this, you know what I mean? And then he goes around the back of the van and opens up the double doors. And I meet him at the back, and inside the van is a chair. Yeah, right? Confusing. Um... And he's like, what do you think? And I'm like, it's really nice, man. Like, <laughs> that's a great chair, dude. Like. But I'm like, I'm meant to be selling you a chair, like... <laughs> are we doing chair swap now? What is this? And I don't even want chairs, I want weed, dude. That's what I want. <laughs> so, we fucking, like, and it kind of, it's like, it's like when I lose faith, he lose, loses faith as well, like, in the whole act. Like, he's losing, anyway, so we get in the car, we do the exchange. Uh, I can't, and because it's a dealer, I can't, everything I've, I can't say any of what I've just said to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? The status is wrong. Like, so I can't be like, that's dumb, man. Um, so I think I was like, man, that's, this is a, this is great. I love the high vis and you're really nailing this. Um, this is my favourite, better than dog shit. Um, anyway, um, the next time, uh, again, we're smashing through this weed. Uh, we finish that lot and I want to buy more and I'm freaking out because we've only got the one uh, chair that looks like a vintage chair. So I'm going around the house, like, looking at chairs like this, like, maybe, um... And then my girlfriend's like, just Google image a chair. Just, what are you... How deep are you now? Like, do you want high vis? Like, what's going on? Uh, so I just find a picture of a fucking chair, um... And I send this guy a picture of a chair, and he... And I, and I write back the amount uh, uh, and stuff, and he says, oh, yeah, man, that's cool. I can come round to just buy the chair. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I know, the chair. <laughs> and he's like, no, man, I mean, I'll come round and I'll, I'll just get the chair. And then there's like a dot, 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 and then the dot, dot stops and he calls me, which is unprecedented, like a lot of things. Uh, and he's like, listen, I'm just buying and selling chairs now. So I feel like the main thing that would ever stop me from getting in to selling weed is the concern that it might lead <laughs> to a much darker pastime of buying and selling vintage chairs. That's my story. Thanks so much. Yeah.